Randy, when things aren't going well, you always hear the term that you know, it's a fragile group. Well, a game like this uh, on, the, on the heels of the last game helped get you guys back to being in a happier place? Well, we can breathe. <laughs> been a lot of gasping going on and even in this game there was a lot of gasping going on the how tight it was you know and it was, it was like a lot of things have gone against us in various points in the game and tonight when they took the goal away we had 15 scoring chances up until that point and then when, for the next 12 minutes we didn't get any so it just shows the the mental state and, and how uh, I guess fragile we were in, in the at that, that point you know and Hopefully this relieves a little bit of the stress that's involved for our hockey club and they can get back playing to the way we are capable of playing. In a situation like that, would you like to see a coach's challenge? Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I just think that in that situation specifically, when you review it on, on replay, it's, it's, it's hard to, to take the side of the official. <laughs> I don't know how other, any other way to put it politely. But, you know, some uh, of your luck that we had in the beginning of the year has now gone the other way on us. And that's what you've, you've got to understand, that when things are going well for you, you've got to take advantage of it. But when things are, going, are being difficult for you, you've got to find ways and you've got to manufacture points and you've got to just find a way to grind it out. And, you know, we made mistakes in the hockey game and, you know, they smothered us and pushed the walls a lot. But, you know, again, we we got to continue to get this group to improve and I thought we, we competed hard. Our execution was a little bit off, specifically the power play more than anything. And, uh, you know, that was the, the difference in the game, but we found a way to get it done in the shootout. How many, how many games would you have had 15 scoring chances by that point? Recently? Not many. Yeah, it's pretty good. It was good. It was very good for us. But, again, that's... That's our inside stats that we keep, and there's a, a log that we keep of it, and, and uh, it's all, uh, those are the things that you feel, you know, that when you see that happening, that you know your team's playing, you know you're generating, you know, we were, we were involved in the game, but, you know, we were rusty, I thought, for the first 10 or 12 minutes of the game, with a day off yesterday, played back to back, we were in Carolina and Washington, and yesterday was one of those mandatory days off that you have on the calendar that you have to give the players, so morning skate today we would miss four guys with illness so we had a lot of built-in excuses if we wanted to use them but that was the best thing is we didn't use them, any of them. you feel the number of one-on-one -on -one battles uh, the last two games specifically have helped you? Well again we, we have got to continue to ramp up our compete and that's that's as simple as I can put it and, and that's not uh, that, that's team toughness that's team competitiveness that's really what we're asking for. In today's hockey, it's not all about the body check or the fight. It's about getting inside and being on the puck first. Good, strong forechecking. Everybody's forechecking the same way. You know, they're coming hard with and It's a four-man forecheck versus where before it used to be a two-man. You push the walls as much as you possibly can. The game has changed dramatically in that sense. And that's why the momentum swings go. And we just have to continue to build this group to a higher level of of compete that's 